Hey, what's going on? And welcome back to video two in a series of us creating our Flutter to-do list application. Um, in the previous video, we set up the layout for our application. And in this video, what we're going to do is just kind of start building out our models and our view models, and then also wrap our application in a change notifier provider. So that way, whenever anything in our data changes, it will update all of the widgets. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of jump right into this. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is hop into our models folder. And let's create our two models that we're going to use on our application. Uh, the two models that we're going to create are um, a user model, just to keep track of the user. And that's gonna store the username that is displayed in the greeting. And then we're also going to have a task model. And what the task model does is it's going to represent each one of the tasks that we have here. So we can see how the user model will have a username and the task model will have uh, a title and then a boolean to kind of keep track of whether or not the task has been completed or not. So within our models folder, let's go ahead and create those two files. Let's start with creating our task model dot dart file. And let's also create our user model dot dart file. So let's start with our task model. Um, let's create a new class called task. And within it, let's just give it a string of title and then a bool of complete. And then lastly, what we're gonna to wanna to do is just provide a constructor for this. So we'll say task and then this dot title. We'll also say this dot complete. And that's all we need to do for our task model. Uh, it's very similar uh, for our user model. Just create a new class of type user. And then let's just have a string for username and then provide the constructor. So user and then this dot username, and that's all we need to do for our models for this application. So now that we have those models built, we can build out our view model, and within this view models folder, let's create a new Dart file called app view model. We'll just have the one view model for our entire application. Uh, you could definitely build, break this out into uh, separate view models, um, which is recommended as the, you know, the program gets bigger and bigger. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll just go ahead and keep it relatively simple. We'll just have the one view model. What we're going to want to do in here is create a new class and call it app view model. And make sure that this extends change notifier. And the reason why we wanted to extend change notifier is so that way we could update the listeners. Uh, so basically, we're going to wrap our application in a change notifier provider. And what that does is it's going to pass, it's going to wrap or application in this app view model and it'll make that information available. And then to all of our views, we'll wrap those into consumer widgets that could take the app view model that we have created. And then it will take the information and then it could either update the app view model, it could retrieve information from the app view model, but it's really important to extend that change notifier so that way we can update our listeners. Uh, that'll make more sense later when we actually start updating some like uh, getter and setter methods within our application. Uh, but within this app view model, what we're going to do is create a list of tasks to just keep track of the tasks that we have uh, in our application. So we'll have a list of tasks called tasks, and we'll just set that to a new list of tasks. And it's going to be upset with us. It wants us to import, uh, or it wants us to make some sense of this task type. So we just have to import the task file that we had just created. And there we go. So this is where our tasks in our application are gonna be stored. Currently, we're just initializing it to uh, an empty array of tasks. Uh, this will change in the future where we'll actually pull from local storage on our initialization. Uh, but for now, every time you launch the application, it'll start out in a blank state. Uh, the last thing we wanna do in this app view model is add our user. And we're gonna just have our, an instance of our user in similar situation here in the future. Uh, on initialization of this app view model, what it's going to do is retrieve the data from storage to build out our user and our tasks. Uh, but for the time being, uh, we're just going to create a new user and just give it a name. So that way we can create a new instance of a user. I guess it's just a JLN, right? And then same thing as the task, we're just going to want to make some sense of this type and then import that user model uh, file that we had just created. So that's really it for, uh, for now, at least, uh, for our models and our view models. Uh, the last part, the last thing that we're gonna cover in this video is just wrapping our application inside of a change notifier provider. So if we hop back into our main.dart file, 
what we're going to see here is that our in the main function we are running our application and we're going to just return this my app widget uh, what we're going to do instead is wrap this application or this my app we're going to wrap that in our change notifier provider but before we're actually able to do that i'm just getting a little bit ahead of myself before we're able to actually wrap this we're going to have to uh, add the provider package so either inside of your pubspec.yaml go ahead and add provider uh, the easiest way to do that is just to jump into the terminal in your root directory and then just uh, add the package flutter so do flutter pub add provider and that will add provider as a package to our application if we check our pubspec.yaml we'll see that uh, provider has been added with the most recent version and uh, yeah, so back in our main.dart file, we can now go ahead and wrap my app inside of a new widget. And we're gonna use a change notifier provider. Um, so the child will just remain as my widget, but what we're gonna wanna do is create our change notifier provider, which is why we have our view model extending uh, the type of change notifier. And what we're gonna do here is just enter and create, and then we're going to create uh, a new change notifier for the application. So we're just going to create a new instance of our app view model. And that's basically all we need to do to get our app view model set up to be uh, basically read in through different widgets. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. It was just getting our models and our view models set up as well as wrapping our application in that change notifier provider. And then in the next video, we're going to be going over uh, the actual creation of our, of our header view and all of the nested widgets that come as a result. So it's also going to show, let me just pull it up actually, make more sense that way. We're gonna create this header view and we're also going to add these two buttons. And then we're also going to add uh, the bottom sheets and the navigation into those bottom sheets. So, yep, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you shortly.